Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the tween classes to create some amazing animation with your items on your stage. What type of items can you create and use this animation for? Well, you can do anything that basically is a movie clip or a sprite that has properties such as X, Y, or Alpha. So there's so many things that you can do with tweening, and I'm going to show you how to code this. So sit back and pay attention I guess so let's get started the first thing you want to do is create a flash file action script 3 file once we do that we can go down to the first layer inside of the timeline and rename it to action script 3 yes 3 and the last thing we want to do is just create an item on the stage I'm gonna create a beautiful pink oval and I'm creating the pink oval for the ladies because you know the ladies love the pink oval not just ladies not the ladies no the ladies anyway changing this oval converting it into a symbol by pressing F8 and I'm gonna name it item that's just for the library okay now that I have this item on stage I'm going to name it stage item why not with it selected going into properties stage item so that way I can access it through action script now that I'm ready I can lock the first layer and I'm going to select the first frame and start coding the first thing we want to do inside of any tweening is we need to import classes and the way we do that is we type import fl.transitions.tween um, and so forth so we're importing the tween, the easing, dot asterisk. This is important. I'll tell you why in a second. And we want to import the tween event. We're important, importing these because we can't just use the tween class without them. It's not like anything else, like the array or movie clip. We have to import these classes. So let's start coding. The first thing I'm going to do is create a variable, which is going to hold all the animation. I'm going to call it AT, array tween, which will hold all of our arrays so I'm gonna data type it to an array set it to a new array and what we'll do is we'll push items into the array now these items will be tweens so let's get started at dot push and the thing we want to push is a new array so we, a new tween excuse me new tween and in this new tween, we're just going to open the parenthesis. And as soon as we open the parenthesis, we get all these items that we have to put inside of our uh, of this new tween. So the first parameter that we have to put in is the object. And the object is the stage item that we created, the pink stage item. So stage item. The next item is the property of your object. And that property can be the X, the Y, the alpha anything you can think of that can that you could put a value into a numerical value so I'll just put in uh, I'll just put an X in between the quotes so put the quote oop, X and that's it and we move on to the next item the next item is the function and this is where I was talking about the easing now there are different types of easing. I would recommend that you go to the Adobe website where they talk about each and every ease. Um, for the ease that we want to put, I will just go with strong. Now this is more than just strong. There is uh, bounce. Um, a few of them escape from my head, but there are about five or six. I can't remember how many, but there are a few. And from that, we can apply that that motion, that type of motion that we see. So I'm going to get a strong ease in. It opens up a parenthesis, but you just backspace on it. The next item we want to put in is where does our item begin? And we're going to start our item at zero. So when this tween starts, it's going to make our x value zero. So if your item is somewhere on the stage, if it's not on zero, it's going to jump to zero. The next item is where do we want our animation to stop? We want it to stop at 500. 
and now it wants to know our duration and I'm gonna put two because I'm using seconds you can use frames but I choose to use seconds so the next question is do I want to use seconds and I'm gonna put true and I'll just close those parentheses so now if I start this up what's gonna happen is in two seconds it's gonna go from 0 to 500 now isn't that cool so that was it you saw the little animation nothing too spectacular I'm gonna show you how to determine when the animation is finished this is using the um, array tween um, event so AT and of course we know in the array we have the first item is zero which is the new tween we put AT in those braces zero we're gonna add event listener and the event listener that we want to add is tween event and the tween event is um, motion finish so once the motion is finished we can tell it to run some sort of listener and I'm gonna name that done so now we're ready to create that function a event and now we can do a number of things we can tell it to maybe go to the next frame maybe uh, bring in a new uh, item so if this was a website if that little ball was some sort of animation that you had then you can add th that could be the intro and once that tween is done you can go into your first page so these are there's endless possibilities with this I'm just gonna show you the basics but for now I'm just gonna make the thing yo-yo which means it's just gonna go back and forth so that's zero so it's AT zero that's the tween that we're we're referencing the reason why we put all this inside of an array is because if we don't you may get your animation it may just stop in the middle that's because flash collects the unused variables and just throws them away so if you have your variable which is a tween that is running it may just get hacked and slashed away and we don't want that so that's why we put our tweens inside of an array so what we're gonna type is we're gonna access that tween at the AT braces zero and we're gonna type yo-yo you didn't even know yo-yo was a function did you but yes it is for tweens so now what's gonna happen is at the end of the animation is just gonna go back to the beginning and I'll show you what that looks like so we got our ball moving one way and back to the other because I'm pretty sure you've run into a situation where you just needed to reanimate something a bunch of times or something go back and forth so many times and this is one way you could do it uh, also all these numbers you can replace with variables and randomize it um, I'm using strong but let's use something like bounce and now we can see that that bounce effect that it has it's, it's bouncing across so there are plenty of interesting um, tw easing that you can put on these tweens so that's just showing you the basics I'm really happy that you will be able to use this now I hope to see some amazing tweening going on uh, last thing I want to show you is how to clear that array I'm using the yo-yo but I'm not gonna do that usually what you would want to do is just clear the array of anything by just doing that so but and taking out this here so AT is equal to an empty brace which clears the array and that way we have a clean array in which we can start a brand new animation so I hope you uh, are satisfied and knowing that you can do so much more with tweens taking your items to the next level taking your website to the next level so visit my website and click on an ad or two to bring me and my website to the next level along with these tutorials and also you can download the FLA so you can play around with the code that I have in front of you so enjoy this have a great time. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, subscribe, comment, and, uh, you know, leave me some uh, messages, you know. Tell me how much you, 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 you dig the stuff. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.